Welcome to Hawaii Wellness Network, and we have another exciting, fun show coming to you live from Love Peace Harmony Center. And we have Lucky Thornton, Karen Lucky Thornton, Hi, and Laurie. Dila. And they're going to talk about, I've always had aura readings, and you hear about auras, and people see auras, and I'm told there's red and yellow and green colors, but I never understood the interpretation. So you're actually going to go through how someone get, can get an, their aura chart read, and then talk a little bit about the colors and what they mean and how they can affect your health. And Well, actually, Laurie, I'm going to have a class on that. Yes. So we're going to go through the basics okay. to talk about the class. Okay. But yes, you're not going to do two hours of information from <laughs> the class tonight. But we're just going to go through the basics. So if someone wanted to, you know, you see at some of the expos, you have your machine, uh -huh. and someone would put their hands on the machine, Sure. Do you want to demonstrate? Okay. okay, so when I take the aura, it's like this. And so what is the um, photography taking? It's her energy of her body that's coming through? Onto it's the actually what I call it as her energy body. Yeah? Okay. So it's actually a picture of her, an invisible part of her, which is her energy body. What this machine does, it actually takes her energy and translates it into colors so that we can actually see something. Since the energy normally is uh, an invisible thing, all, all the machine does is um, make that invisible thing something visible. Okay, so okay. technology. Okay, so just relax your shoulders. Good, take a deep breath in. Smile and breathe out, ha. Great. So the energy around you can uh, demonstrate what's going on in your health, on your stress levels, relationships. It everything. will show many, many things, but understand that auras are three-dimensional, yeah? And it's not just around you, it's a part of you. It is you, yeah? So um, as I read an aura, I'm actually sitting in the aura, usually, and colors, um, every color has its own frequency and its own wave, its own vibration. I can say its own way of moving. Yeah? So with your energy, you also have your own way of moving. So through the colors, we can say a little bit about your way of moving or I can say your character. So how I read the aura is uh, giving a little bit more information about the character of the individual sometimes uh, emotional aspects that they're, they may be going through right now, uh, that will show up. Uh, the interesting thing about the aura is, uh, the, the, the picture is, there's kind of like a, a future side, a present moment, and a past side. So you can also see what this person has been going through. Many people these days I see are in a transition state meaning one side of the aura looks different from the other side. That's, I don't think I've ever seen that. It's uh, interesting. Okay. Hers is a, slightly, you can see uh, a little bit. Do here. you want to show the, print, the printout yeah. to the audience? So okay. this is what the aura picture actually looks like uh, when you print it out. So it has greens and yellows? Hers has a lot of green, um, yellow, and some red. Uh, Red and yellow make orange. Um, her basic color, of course, is green. But even if there wasn't as much green here, um, I would read her as a green personality. And, and I would think that the greens and yellows versus the darker colors are more calm and peaceful. So I would, I would guess that her emotion would be calm. And well, is that always true? Or? If you understand the chakra system, the chakras are also spinning and vibrating at certain speeds and frequencies. So, and they, they also have color associations for the chakras. Uh, I can say that the aura colors pretty much align with these colors as well. So the lower three chakras are more belonging to your physical body. And then the middle three chakras are more belonging to your energy or emotional body. You know? And then the upper three colors of the chakras uh, belong more to your spiritual body. Um, so when you come to my class, I'll explain a little bit more 
what the physical energy and spiritual bodies actually um, represent or now she has yellow from the right side out on the bottom part by her body. What does that mean, typically? Um, it's like a yellow orangey color. Yes, actually, this is kind of her reality, and this is more of her poten potential um, in the in the physical realm here. Um, and then also we can say, if you read it uh, another way that this would be past and this would be present, uh, I mean future. So the right side is your past and the left side is your future. On this aura on here. The, on the photo. On the, on the photo, so this would be her right, because the face okay. would be here p looking at you. <laughs> right. So that would be her right side and her left side. Um, yeah, so I can, I see a lot of these uh, auras I've read them for many years. <laughs> and what does green typically mean? That's around the body. Green, she has a lot of I green. just call it as healing power. Yeah. Um, so the green, the green energy is the nurturing type of energy. Yeah. A lot of nurturing and caring, uh, loving and compassion. Well, thank you for sharing you. your. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a compliment. So this is someone that would show balance and being calm and nurturing and. Balance is another thing. Mm -hmm. uh, when I read an aura, I try to help this person achieve a balance. Mm -hmm. So depending on the aura, sometimes you can tell, uh, in order to really create good health, you need a good balance. So nothing is really good or bad, positive or negative. There's no bad auras. Yeah, you so you want a balance of different different colors, not always all one. Yeah, even though the green may seem like a, a nice thing, yeah, nurturing and caring, um, I I say over caring turns into worry. Mm. Yeah, so the green has to be cautious about going into the worry state. Worrying about everybody yes, else. Yes, because and they care. Yeah. yeah. So that's one example of how we can use this information to keep ourselves balanced. Right. Mm -hmm. So do you want to tell more about the? So when they come to the class, they actually get a reading, like yes. Dila just did. Mm -hmm. And then you're um, going to be giving a two-hour class about the translation and the colors. And I will give a, a brief introduction about what these colors actually mean, mm -hmm. uh, what the picture actually can represent. Uh, but they understand that color itself is only a very small part of the aura. The, the information that's in an aura. So these days when I'm reading auras, um, I told her last night actually, I don't even need a machine anymore <laughs> to read a person's uh, energy or aura. Sure. Yeah. So I, I utilize this as, a, as a, a simple guide for myself, but when I read an aura, it, the reading can go much deeper. But if someone has emotional issues or health issues, then this will come out in here and you can kind of help them talk to them, at least show it on the picture and, and some um, remedies that they can do. Right. Emotional issues can come up. Um, some physical issues also can come up. I'm not as good as reading the physical parts of it, but it's there. Mm -hmm. um, I had an associate who was very, very good at picking out the, the physical problems of this person. Wow. So um, it's, it's more like a road map. Just yeah, like it's kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Great. So how did they get in touch with you to um, take the class? Because you have two classes coming up soon. Yeah, I'm going to have two, two classes um, March on 12. March 12, Tuesday night at 6 p.m. and um, Saturday, March 16 at 10 a.m. Uh, the classes will run about two hours, depending on how much questions people have, how many people come. Um, I can do, you know, the group as a whole, but usually I will also give individual um, little messages because when I read auras, also some messages come down as to uh, what the person actually needs to hear, and uh, that's what I do. Um, and you can. Either um, email us, uh, Quantum Institute International INTL at gmail.com, or you can give us a call at 808 
626-5087. And the class will be held in Manoa. Yes, okay. the classes will be in Manoa. Um, Until the following classes. Ah. And, mm -hmm. and you'll have classes in the future. So if someone uh, can't make it to March, they can contact you about classes. I will do year. classes in the future as well. There's uh, so much interest in the Auras. Um, we will do, the week after the Aura class, we will do uh, a mood management class. Oh, that's good. And I'm <laughs> going to combine um, the brain and Aura with the mood management class. So some men can call you if they would like to recommend their <laughs> wife to take that <laughs> class? <laughs> so Especially at just certain times? Yes. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to do some playing around with some oils to uh, that balance our moods. Mm -hmm. We did it with the Aura machine yeah. the other night. It was a pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, you know, within one minute, the Aura changed. Someone asked me, oh, does the Aura change? Does my Aura change? Yes, it will change. Remember that this is just a snapshot of your condition as it is right now. Yeah, just at this moment. Just but at in this five moment. minutes it can change. In right. five minutes it can change. But our character itself doesn't usually change. So there is uh, also a kind of a base or baseline that we can follow. Great. Well, thank you for coming on. And, and also you can um, find you in the Hawaii Wellness Directory, of course. So. Yes. So Great. And thank you. And I will be at your class next week. Very thank exciting. you so much. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for sharing your personal information, too. Thank you. <laughs>